In this lesson, we're gonna build off of that custom post type that we created, and we're gonna make a block that has a employee grid for our theme. Just like we've done in other lessons, we're gonna start by copying over the sample HTML. So I'll right click on here and say, add new page. We're gonna do a plain HTML, and we'll call this blocks.html. We'll switch over to VS Code, open up that blocks.html in our starter folder, copy the HTML, back into PineGrow, and we'll paste that in our block.html file. You should notice that it has the styling already in place and that our style sheet is linked to this blocks.css file. Switching over to the tree view, I'll collapse some of these. And we've got two blocks that we're gonna create. In this module, we're gonna focus on the employee grid. And then in the next module, we'll, we'll create a contact form block. So let's expand our employee grid. And I'm gonna close our code window because we don't need that. And the first thing that we're gonna do is just define that block. So I'll click on this div, which is the wrapper for our block. And over in WordPress, we get a notice that this page is not yet configured for WordPress. So let's click on page settings. And now because this is a page that we do not want to export as a template, we need to tell it, don't export this page. We did a similar thing when we created our parts.html and our customizer.html. Now I'm gonna collapse some of these things in the sidebar so you can see what's going on. And for our employee grid, I've got this div, which is a wrapper for the whole block. And then in here, I have another wrapper. You might be asking why I have two different wrappers. Well, the reason is because when we define a block inside of PineGrow, we want that to live on its own level. We don't want anything else along with it, really. So this is where I'm going to define our block. And this is going to be the wrapper that holds the, the unordered list with our block items. So I'll come back up to the one that we're going to create the block on. And over in WordPress Actions, I just say block. I need to give this block a name, so I'll call it employee-grid. And the title is going to be employee grid. I'm not going to bother with the description. For the category, I'm going to create this as a custom category. The category ID is going to be custom-blocks. And because we haven't created this category yet, we're going to say register category. And I'm going to give it the name of custom blocks. And this is just the display name again. If I wanted to give the category an icon, I could do that right here by using the WordPress dash icons. I'm gonna come back up here a minute because this is gonna be the icon for the block itself. And for the block icon, I can either use a WordPress dash icon or I can use an SVG code. I'm gonna say browse icons, check out my WordPress dash icons. That'll open a web browser with our dash icons. And now I just search for the one that I want. And right here, I've got my users icon. This is the one that I want. And we can see that this is called dash icons, dash admin, dash users. And for this one, I just want admin dash users. So I'll copy that and paste it right here in the icon code. This is one of those places where PineGrow can be a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes it wants us to preface this with dash icons, dash admin user. Other places it wants us to just say admin dash users. I tend to forget what it is and have to try both ways until I get it right. Before we do anything else, I'm just gonna save this file come up to WordPress and say export the theme. And now we'll just check it out in WordPress to make sure that we actually have a block. So I'll start by coming to visit site. And I know I wanna put this in the about page. I'll hit edit page. And now when I open the block inserter, all the way at the bottom, I should have our custom blocks category and I have an employee grid. When I hover over it, you're gonna notice a few things. You're gonna notice that it still has all that placeholder data because we haven't done anything with it yet. And you're also gonna notice that it's unstyled. We'll get to that in a minute. For now, I'm just going to insert the block. Update the page and save view page. And at this point, this is exactly what it should look like. Now we're gonna make this block do something and look like something. So if you remember from the beginning of the video, I want this to loop through that custom post type and show us some information from each of the employees. And to do that, I'm just gonna use the show post smart action. So I'm gonna click on my employee card wrapper, and this is where I'll use the show post smart action. I do not want this to be a main loop, so I'm gonna come down and select custom query. My post type for this is going to be employees. I wanna sort by title, ascending, and I want to show six posts per page. Now I have to tell it the container for the items. 
So I'll just come in here and I'll select my unordered list. This is what's going to contain the items. And the item that's going to be repeated is this first li. So what that's going to do is for each item in the query, it's going to loop this li over and over and over again. What that also means is this second li that we're using just as a placeholder, we need to tell PineGrow not to export this. So we'll select that. And I'm going to choose the don't export smart action. And that just tells PineGrow, don't export this, don't do anything with it. Now what I want to do is inside of our list item, I need to tell it which data to assign to which element. So I'm going to start with our image here. And this is going to be our post featured image. And I want to make this medium sized. And I also want to put a conditional on there so that it only shows up if there is a featured image for the post. So let's just expand this a little bit and say so that I don't have to search through it all. I'll just say if has post thumbnail. So now if the employee item has a thumbnail, it'll show this. If it doesn't, it won't show the image. For our anchor, let's clear out this search. And we're going to make this post link. Our H3 is going to be the post title. This anchor is going to be the department. So I want to come down to post tags and categories and I'll select departments. And again, I want to put a conditional on this. So we're going to say, if in category, and I want to say, if it's not in the category uncategorized. Because remember, anything that doesn't have a category is automatically going to get put into this uncategorized category. And then the last thing we're going to do is take our excerpt, clear out that filter, and assign that to the post excerpt. This checkbox says only display of excerpt is set. And this is basically saying that if we haven't specifically assigned an excerpt to the post, don't display anything. Because by default, WordPress is going to grab the first 55 characters of the post title if there is no excerpt explicitly set. I'm going to leave this unchecked. Okay, so we're partway there. Let's save this. And we're going to export the theme again. We'll come back over to our about page. And now I want to refresh this just to see where we are. So now you can see that we're getting somewhere. I'm pulling images, I'm pulling the links, I'm pulling our departments and our excerpts. And it's looping correctly. Our styling is still off. And look at this, our pagination does nothing. So let's go back into PineGrow and take care of both of those. First things first, let's do pagination. Now you might be wondering why we're doing pagination separately here when we've already created it as a reusable part. The reason is this pagination is specific to this block, whereas the reusable part that we created is for the main loop pagination. This one is going to be for this specific query. So to make this work, I'll select our div, our pagination div, and then we'll choose post pagination smart action. Already it knows that we have the employees query. So that's the query that we're going to use for this pagination element. And now just like we did before, we're going to tell it which previous page, next page, etc., all those things that we need to do. So our previous page item is the first anchor with the left arrow. Next page item is the right arrow. The one repeated for each page is the list item that has the anchor with the number on it. The active page item is the list item that has our active span. And the dots page item is the list item that has our dots span. I'll save this. We'll export one more time. Refresh our page. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see that we have pagination that already seems to be working. When I click on the next button, it's bringing up new employees. So now the last thing that we need to do is to fix the styling here. You might be wondering why the styling of this is off. And remember at the beginning of the video, I pointed out that we're using a separate style sheet for the styles related to this block. The reason being is that because we can assign style sheets and scripts to run for each individual block that don't necessarily load site wide, they only load on the pages that these blocks are on. But of course, in order to use this, we need to tell WordPress to load the style sheet. So again, we'll come up here to block. And under more options, we'll expand that. And for style, we'll click on our folder, select our CSS folder, and choose blocks.css. Now, when I save this and export the theme, we can refresh our page. And suddenly, we have styled blocks. 
Let's take a look at this on the edit page. And in here we can see that the block has ex unexpected or invalid content. Again, this is one of those things that's very typical inside of WordPress. Whenever you change a block's structure, you're going to see this. So we just say attempt block recovery. And there it is. I'll update the page, view it on the front end, and it still looks good. Of course, I could have done a lot more stylistically by making these all the same size and having the images cover the divs, but I wanted to keep the styling as simple and generic as possible so that you can edit it however you want. Speaking of styling, this is probably a good time to talk about editor styles because WordPress can do some really funny things when it comes to styling inside the Gutenberg editor. I'll come back here to the edit page. Now, if I right click in here and do inspect, you're going to see that we have some of these things that that start with block dash editor, block list layout, and that our style sheets inside the editor look a whole lot different than they do on the front end. This is one of those places where WordPress decided in their infinite wisdom that they were going to create a separate editor style sheet that takes precedence over the style sheet on the front end of your site. There are reasons for them doing it this way, but it really is a complete pain in the butt and I always find myself having to override editor style sheet styles. And doing that is not terribly complicated. All we have to do is come into Pangro again. And if I do need to override editor styles, I can create yet another style sheet just for the overrides and then reference that here inside editor style. This is not a Pangro specific thing. This is just a WordPress thing. And Pangro gives us the tools to manage it. Matter of fact, if you do a Google search for WordPress editor styles, you'll see a ton of articles here. Let's take a look at this one from ThemeMile how to make WordPress look like your front end website. And this tells us to do exactly what we did before by creating a custom style sheet for the WordPress editor. All right, we're coming up on the home stretch. We have a home page with whatever content you want to put on there. I have my about page with a custom block that has a query loop. I have a services page with some placeholder text and image. My articles page is our general blog page. Employees is an archive for a custom post type. And next, we're going to create a contact block. So stay tuned for the next lesson where I walk through it.